How did this happen? Oh, don't, Josie, don't be afraid of the thunder. Don't, please, don't cry. There's nothing bad about thunder, it's just a noise. Lightning is what kills you. Like, thousands of people every year die from getting hit by lightning. Or, um, what else can kill you? Uh, sometimes food can kill you. Raw pork. Attention, this is an actual emergency. A tornado warning is in effect right now. This is a tornado alert. Get to a shelter or a basement immediately. Oh my god. Oh my god, what do we do? Brendan, Melissa, yeah. Jason? Yeah? Yeah. Is that his name? Mm-hmm. A tornado's coming. Coach, are you crying? No, I'm not crying. Wait, Coach, is tornadoes really coming? Yeah, that's what the radio said. There's a tornado coming. So I'm gonna stay down here with the baby. You guys go upstairs and play. Shouldn't we stay down here with you? No. It's not safe for everybody to be in the same place during a tornado, Melissa. But I thought you're supposed to go to No, low. the rule is, Melissa, you separate. Are you sure? Yeah. You get sucked into the funnel and everyone's separated. It's just like a fun ride. But if you're all in a group in a cluster, you start banging into each other and then your heads collide and you die. Wow. Oh my god, I gotta check out my sister's flight. Um... What's the matter, Coach? Her flight's been rerouted. I'm not gonna see her after all. Sorry. Sorry. All that work, all those pictures, and then a tornado comes in and ruins it. Sorry, Coach. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? It was probably better anyway. You have to have a death wish to drive in this weather. I mean, it's a tornado. That's like suicide. Coach? Yeah? Oh, man. Brendan. Yeah. Sorry about your mom. Uh -uh. I'm sure she's fine. She took driver's ed, right? Where the hell am I? I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, take a breath. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, relax, relax, relax. Oh my god, what time is it? No! Oh! I think you're really getting carried away, Coach. Uh, so you took it personally, Brendan. No, I didn't. It's nothing against you, Brendan. I know. I'm just saying, if we have to start eating each other, I'm gonna go for Jason first. Right. Then you. All right. Then Melissa. Okay. Then the baby. Finally. Here, hold her for a minute. What was that all about, Jason? You were on the phone for like 20 minutes. Well, I told my mom I was at your house, Brendan. She said, Brendan, who? So I had to tell her who you were, that we're best friends, that we make movies. And then she asked me what kind of movies. And I said, like, I don't know, little fun movies, like real movies, but shorter. And then she said, like, what? And I then I explained a couple of the movies we made. And then I told her about the one we're making now, the mockumentary. And she, then she said, oh, I like my memory, like spinal tap, and I said, I don't know what that is. Jason, you never told her about me? No. What about me? No. Come on, somebody. A tornado can drive a three-inch nail into a tree, all right? So it hammers a nail into a tree. Well, it would, that is a big deal. I don't see why it's such a big deal. Could you hammer a nail into a tree by just blowing on it? No. That's what a tornado does. It blows on a nail, and the nail goes into the tree. Still don't think it's a big deal. Why? What do you mean, why? Why would Why is putting nails in trees? Yeah. What's the point? To mark them. You mean, like, so it can hang a little sign on it? Oh, the police, thank God. Would you like to sign a petition to save the big elm tree? Yeah. Walter, Perry, what are you doing out in this weather? Get in here. No, because we only need four more signatures to save the big elm tree. In the car. But we need to save the tree. Sorry? Yeah. Was that the helm tree? Yeah. Huh. Okay, so who's in favor of dropping the mockumentary? Okay. Who's in favor of doing the mockumentary? Okay, good. Now we're getting somewhere. You see, I'm, I'm taking out all that stuff about the murder and the sex, and I'm making it into a children's book. All right. It's gonna be about a sparrow and a cockroach who get lost during a storm and end up going on this wild adventure together. Sounds trite. It sounds like that's been done before. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't lame. think... Lame. Yeah, double lame-o. Lame. Double lame-o donkey right. Sucking on the witch's <laughs> The storm is past, I repeat, the storm is over. It's safe to come out of your shelter. Yay! Wait, could be a trick. Paula, you should write a story about when me and Perry grow up. And we're men. We're men. Men. Well, I'll think about that one. And call it having fun with Walter and Perry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a that's um that's a good idea. I think I'll I'll stick with the sparrow no. and the cockroach. No, now. write it about Perry and I. Yeah. Write no, it about no, Perry. No, maybe and I'll I... write that in my next one. No. 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 Write was... a book about Walter and okay, Perry. Okay. Okay. I'll write a little book. Write about a Walter's... book about Perry and no, I. Wait, wait. No. Hey, you know what? No. Oh, 
Oh my god, am I glad to see you. The police are here, kids! The police are here! So I'm so glad I never made it to Mr. Fieldmore's office. You might say that storm saved my life. My literary life. Wow. John, thanks for being here with the kids. I mean, they must have been so glad you were here. Are you all right? Yeah, what are we wrapping up? So when movie history opened with the biggest box office draw in movie history, we knew that we had made movie history with movie history. And now I'd like to say something to all the young directors out there. If you want to make movie history, just make sure you own the camera. Cut, cut and print. Perfect. Thank you. You should make a movie about Perry and I. Yeah. Well, uh... Um, make a movie about Perry and I. Well, yeah. I mean, make it. Make it. Make a movie about Perry and I. Grab his arms. Uh,